Dear 7th semester mechanical engineering stream students, I welcome you all into my another passing package video. Hope you are all doing well and hope you have prepared your first subject and already I have uploaded the passing package for that one, right? So most of the students were demanding the passing package for control engineering subjects. And so let me clarify one thing over here. To be very, very honest, it is not only the passing uh, subject, it is scoring subject. You can easily score more than 80 marks provided to the condition if you just cover the portions, whatever I will mention in this particular video so don't skip any second of this video it is going to be very important for mechanical engineering students so first of all the first passing module is module fifth in which there will be 20 marks problem directly on body plot so i have taken here the problem a unity feedback control system has g of s is equal to 80 upon s into s plus 2 s plus 20 draw the body plot if phase crossover occur at frequency is equal to 6.35 radian per second find the corresponding gain margin so this type the questions will be there 20 marks question and construct a body plot for the following transfer function and determine gain margin and sometimes they will ask you uh, calculate the or determine the phase margin right so <coughs> So the transfer function will be given g of s h of s is equal to 10 upon s into 1 plus s 1 plus 0 0.02 s so, so you should have some idea about what is the zero what is the pole so you should try to recognize these terminologies and also I will show you the interface of notes you don't need to go anywhere I have prepared the handwritten notes for you students this is the body plot interface on the first page itself it is the definition part you can go through or you can neglect it also as far as numericals are concerned what is important over there that is this body plot summary chart for the numericals there is the reason where these values come up I already made detailed videos on this body plot you can also refer the playlist of control engineering that is 18 me 71 probably or 72 I don't remember exactly the subject code of 18 scheme but I have uploaded some uh, problem solving videos on body plot right so this is the chart summary if you are able to remember these values you will easily tackle the body plot problems 20 marks problem only three steps are there right so first of all if I consider the first problem over here that is body plot problem a unity feedback control system has g of s is equal to 80 upon this this is the transfer function given so draw the body plot determine gain margin phase margin and gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency comment on stability there are only three steps see here step one is up to this step two is up to this and next one we have step third so this is somewhere here so step third is phase angle calculate the phase angle then later on you have to draw the graph so this is your body plot graph if you are able to draw this you can easily get 10 marks for this graph and 10 marks for those three steps which I discussed right so don't worry about the notes I will provide the link in the description box of these handwritten notes over there you can practice these five body plot problems I have written five problems so these are important ones so these five problems are enough to cover 20 marks from body plot and also visit my playlist of 18 scheme so already playlist is available try to understand one body plot problem later on you can understand from my handwritten notes itself so next one we have model 4 we have again 20 marks root locus problem construct a root locus for all value of k ranging from 0 to infinity for a feedback control system characterized by uh, g of s h of s is equal to k upon s into s plus 4 s square plus 4 s plus 20 and also you should practice four problems from root locus so let me show you the interface of root locus over here so if i will consider the root locus problem there are some steps which you have to follow see here these are the steps of root locus very easier one if if you are just understanding the concept i am damn sure you will easily grab 20 marks from root locus also okay these are these are very simpler problems no rocket science at all right and at last you have to draw this root locus graph on the graph sheet of your answer booklet which will be available in the examination so so don't draw this graph on a plan page right so you should keep this thing in mind so there are some nine to ten steps which you have to follow on root locus okay so these notes will be available in my description box okay so now let us talk about another portion of uh, this module four that is uh, roots criteria so here we have again so now in our part there will be 10 10 marks question that is apply roots criteria discuss the stability of closed loop uh, system as function uh, for open loop transfer function 
that is g of s h of s is equal to k into s plus 1 s into s minus 1 s square plus 4 s plus 16 so this may be 10 marks this is simpler than root locus okay and next uh, there will be the question that is check the stability of a system using roots uh, criterion having characteristic equation s raised power 5 4 s raised power 4 plus 12 s square plus 20 s square plus 30 s plus 100 is equal to 0 similarly you have to practice 3 to pro, uh, 3 to 4 problems from these two concepts so if you are convenient with this part then definitely go through it but if you are good in root locus so surely you should go through that one otherwise these two parts are very simpler ones so it depends upon your choice so which one you are finding easier one so you have to go through accordingly okay so i cannot make the choice over here just because to me these two parts are very easier ones so this is all about module fourth now coming to the module third where you have block diagram reduction and signal flow graph this may be the 20 marks question okay directly so see here block diagram problems are also available here see here this is the block diagram these are some rules of block diagram detection which you have to remember and you can easily solve the block diagram problems okay what are the problems i have written in this uh, in these notes these are enough to cover block diagram reduction and also signal flow graph problems are here okay you can also visit this one to cover these uh, signal flow graph problems so, so these were three passing modules that is your module fifth module fourth and module third one can easily score more than 50 marks by these three modules next coming to the module second where we have some super important questions like a list list and explain the various standard inputs used in control system analysis develop an expression for steady state error for a simple closed loop control system examine a second order under damped system subject to unit step input obtain an expression for response of first order system for unit step input expression for response of first order system for parabolic input sorry these are some theoretical portions or derivation portions from the module second which are very important one so you can also grab more than 15 marks from this module also okay if you are convenient with the problems which are very simpler ones also these will be available in my notes so where you have to find out the function will be given g of s is equal to 25 divided by s into s plus 7 this is i have taken example okay similarly the questions will be given a unity feedback system will be given and the function will be given so you have to find out undamped natural frequency being ratio damped natural frequency setting time raise time peak time percentage overshoot for unit step input okay so these are some super important questions from module second now coming to the module first we have some four questions define control system with example explain open loop control system and closed loop control system or simply they will ask you comparison between open loop and closed loop control system list the types of controllers and explain pid controller pi controller and proportional controller and derivative controller with a block diagram explain automobile speed control system list and explain requirements of an ideal control system so these four questions are enough to cover module first you don't have to go for the another part you can easily neglect uh, the next chapter of this module first so this is all about the important questions of control engineering subject I, so i am expecting from you students to score more than 80 marks in this particular subject earlier i said this is not only the passing subject this is a scoring subject once you go through these body plot problems and uh, block diagram reduction and root locus problems you can easily pass the subject and also score good in the subject okay so i wish you all the best for your examinations dear make sure you will share this passing package to all your friends and batchmates who are struggling with the control engineering subject so this is all about today's video thank you